to this video. Today I want to look at why 0 factorial is equal to 1. 0 factorial is equal to 1. Hmm? If you take your calculation and you say 0 factorial, you get 1. Why is it 1? Why is it 1? 1 factorial is 1. So why is 0 factorial also 1? So we want to look at it. Look on the board. Now, when you say n factorial, this is what you mean. You mean n times n minus 1. Hmm? So n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times and so on. 2 times 1. Do you see it? So this means that when I give you say 5 factorial, what it means is that write 5. Multiply it by 4, multiply it by 3, multiply it by 2, multiply it by 1. So you write a number and re reduce it, keep on reducing it by 1, and you get to 1. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 will give you 120. So you have 5 factorial is equal to 120. Are you seeing it? Now, 4 factorial, this means that. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Are you seeing it? 4 times 3 is 20, uh, 12 times 2 is 24. So this one is given as 24. So you have 4 factorial is what? Is equal to 24. Are you seeing it? Now 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1. And this straight away this one is equal to 6. I want to give you the simplest proof you can, you can ever get. 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1. And this one is equal to 2. Now, 1 factorial is equal to 1. I see it because you do that one to get 1, and this is equal to 1. Yes. So, 1 factorial is 1. Now, 0 factorial. This is equal to, you guys look on the board. Let's look at what is happening. 5 factorial is 120. Isn't it? It's 120. Now, 4 factorial is 24. 3 factorial is 6. 2 factorial is 2. Now, you guys look on the board. Look on the board. There's a pattern. This is 120. 5 factorial is 120. Now, to get 4 factorial, we divide this 120 by 5 and you get 24. Isn't it? So, 5. When you divide 120 by 5, you are getting 24. Now, when you add 4 factorial, that is 24, and you want to get to 3 factorial, that is 6, you divide by 4. Now, when you are at 3 factorial, which is 6, and you want to get to 2 factorial, which is 2, you divide by 3. Because 6 divided by 3 will give you this. Are you seeing it? So the point is that 120 divided by 5 is 24. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, if you are at 2, and you want to get to, you are at 2 factorial, which is 2, and you want to get to 1 factorial, you divide by 2. When you divide 2 by, by 2, you are going to get 1. Look at what is happening. So, divide this 1 by 5, 3, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now, we are at 1. So, to get the, the answer to the next factorial, which is 0 factorial, hmm, we have to divide by 1. Because we divide the first 1 by 5, the second one, 24 by 4, uh, the 6 by 3, 2 by 2, so you have to divide this one by one. That's the next step. So you divide one by one. And when you divide one by one, you are going to get one. Are you seeing it? Again, this is 120. To get from 120, that is 5 factorial, to get to 24, you divide this 120 by 5. Now when you add 4 factorial is 24, to get the next factorial, 3 factorial 6, you divide by 4. 
When I say factorial, I three factorial to six, I want to get two factorial divided by three. Are you seeing it? When we have two factorial to two, I want to get one factorial divided the two by two. So it means that when you add one factorial to one, and you want to get to zero factorial, you have to divide one by one. And when you divide one by one, you are getting one. So this is why zero factorial is equal to one. So viewers, this is how to show that zero factorial is equal to one. This is the simplest proof you can ever get. Thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shamala Junior. Thank you very much, viewers. Thank you.